Over the years, Acer has been pretty consistent with improving its budget-friendly Nitro series. Other than the slight design tweaks and improving the cooling solution of each generation, Acer has made sure to give everybody a choice when it comes to internals. It's time to review the AMD model of the Acer Nitro 5. Budget and plastic often come hand-in-hand in, hand in laptops, and the Nitro 5 is no exception. The laptop weighs 2.3 kilos and has a profile of 23.9 millimeters, which is okay for an affordable gaming machine. Unfortunately, the all-plastic build leads to some unwanted flex on the keyboard and the lid. Speaking of the keyboard, this one offers decent key travel and relatively clicky feedback and you can get it with either a red or a 4-zone RGB backlight. You also get a numpad and full-size arrow keys, as well as the dedicated Nitro Sense button. The input-output includes a USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port and three Type-A 3.2 ports, two of which are Generation 1 and the last being Generation 2. There is also an HDMI 2.1, a LAN port, an audio jack, as well as a security lock slot. The AMD processors still don't support Thunderbolt 4. Despite the low price tag, Acer didn't cheap out on the upgradability of the Nitro 5. Inside the device, we find two SODOM slots that support up to 64GB of DDR4 memory and dual channel mode. For the storage, you get two M.2 slots, one that fits both PCIe and SATA drives and one for PCIe SSDs only. Additionally, you even get a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay with an included connector. If you want to see how to open the laptop, you can check out our teardown video. Our device came with a full HD IPS panel with a 144Hz refresh rate, wide viewing angles, and a very good contrast ratio of 1490 to 1. Unfortunately, the color coverage is not the best. The display shows only 57% of the sRGB color gamut and also has a rather slow response time of 22 milliseconds. On the bright side, the display doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustments, which makes long sessions comfortable and safe in this aspect. The laptop comes with a 57.5 watt-hours battery, which delivers 9 hours and a half of web browsing or more than 8 hours of video playback, which is very good for a gaming laptop. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Acer pairs the Nitro 5 with up to the powerful Ryzen 9 5900HX, and an RTX 3080 with 100 watts of TGP. The more budget-friendly RTX 3050 remains pretty cool while using 75 watts of power at 1780 MHz. It manages to run Need for Speed Heat with more than 70 FPS at ultra settings. Although the RTX 3050 is not the best GPU for AAA titles, it still manages to run some of the most demanding games at max preset. As you can see, Borderlands 3 can be played with about 40 FPS at badass settings. By the way, we have a playlist of 38 games for the 75 watts RTX 3050, tested at all graphics presets. Thankfully, Acer gives the user a great deal of freedom with customizing the Nitro 5, so if the RTX 3050 is not enough for your needs, you can always choose a better, albeit pricier GPU option. With the addition of a good keyboard and capable cooling, the Acer Nitro 5AN 515-45 becomes a great choice for a gamer on the budget. And if you are interested in our full review with more tests and analysis, you can find it in the description down below.